Remember a few months ago when I told you that I was done with Lego? That I wasn't gonna do anything with it anymore? Um, yeah, so... Um, this happened. Lego came out with some pretty interesting sets. And more importantly for me personally, there are some uh, new mini dolls which I really, really want to see in person. Is that a translucent tail? <laughs> I shall investigate and find out. And I will see if all of these are in fact enough to make me want to play with mini dolls again. Just in case all of those aren't enough, I also got a package from Bricklink that's mostly full of mini dolls. I think you can tell how desperate I am to get back into Lego. <laughs> Brick emotion. Hello, Claire here. Today is all about getting me back into Lego. So I'm gonna open some of these sets and take a look at the mini dolls. Because let's face it, the mini dolls are basically the only thing that I'm interested in here. Well, and also the animals. I mean, they have a giraffe now. And the cute little zebra. So at the end of this video, we shall see if the, all of this was indeed enough to make me wanna do more mini doll related videos. I've moved to my studio because the lighting here is way better. And I think I'm gonna start with these two because they are the smallest ones with the least mini dolls included. And I feel we should start with the ones that I don't feel as drawn to. And then we shall move on to the ones that I am really, really, really looking forward to. Out of these two, again, Elsa to me is much more interesting. So I'm gonna do her later. Now let's zoom on in and see if Mia and Daniel can convince me to get back to Lego. Hmm, even the instructions look a bit different. Oh, and they all have now this track. Or is this just because this is a four plus set? Okay, maybe that's why they are different. But I don't need them right now. I want this bag. I don't need this, no, this. And I need both of these bags because the mini dolls are in here. I've forgotten how relaxing these sounds can be. And yes, I usually just dump everything out, but I don't need everything right now. I just want the mini dolls. So that's why I'm strategically fishing them out one by one. And here are the pants. There's also the cute little horse. I feel like we've gotten so many horses already that I'm not that interested in it. Mia. And Mia has orange pants. This is a thing that we've been missing for quite a long time. Orange in the mini doll's wardrobe. I personally don't like the color as much on clothes but I do think we needed to have it. I'm quite happy with this, even though the outfit as a whole, I feel like could be better. Better color coordinated. And here we have, uh, I already forgot his name, Daniel. So Daniel, oh, this is a new shirt and the pants, I think they are new as well. Love this hairpiece whenever I get it. Cannot complain about getting another one. And yeah, this is a nice mini doll. I like them both. Maybe even him more than Mia. Hmm. And I want to put them all on one of these. I think I'll use this one because I will have some more mini dolls to display. And this is how I will be able to see all of them at the same time. <laughs> oh, I really like them. I miss this. But is it enough for me to start doing it regularly? Mm. Let's see what I'll say after I see Elsa. 
in her white dress. And this one can be opened by brute force. Okay. Oh, Nuck is already outside of the packaging. And now all I need is Elsa. I have been waiting for this dress for quite a while and you know that it's been quite a while because I already started painting it. Didn't get that far so no worries I didn't spend like a whole week painting it and yes. Oh these are shiny. I don't think you can see it on camera but these diamond shapes are shiny. Oh and some interesting details on the back. I like this very much. I kind of even like it more than the front side because I feel like the front side is a bit, hmm, maybe even too simplistic. Like, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I don't love it. And I think for Elsa, they could have made another hairpiece. I mean, it's Elsa. Maybe this version of Elsa isn't as popular with the girls. Hmm? I don't know. I still would have given her another hairpiece. If for no other reason than for us to get a new hairpiece. You know how annoying I am with all of the hair pieces. And I'll try to fit in Elsa and Nock onto this plate. This might not be the perfect size to display them both, but it fits. Let's make Elsa turn her head a bit like she's petting him or they are at least having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I, <laughs> I am bothered by this though. There we go, fixed. You two look amazing together. <laughs> so this is what we have for now. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think I would like Daniel as much as I do. So that one was a positive surprise. However, I thought I was gonna love Elsa more. So I am still not convinced I should go back fully to Lego but luckily this is not all that I have. I want to open this set now. I am really 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 looking forward to the animals and to this well new skin color. Let's do this. This set is way bigger than the other two combined. <laughs> There's a mini doll in here and another one in there. I think there are no mini dolls in this bag, which is nice because that means I can just put it back in. But first I need to... <gasps> the giraffe! Look at it. Ooh, it's so majestic and so, so tall. Is this a mini pin hole on the tail? Huh? I mean, of course they would do a mini pin hole somewhere, but I don't know, I didn't expect it to be on the tail. This is very, very nice and it has this Lego sturdiness to it. It's almost like I've forgotten what a Lego feels like. This is great. What else is in here? Yep, there's a mini doll in here as well. Only bag number four gets to go back in. And then I'll get rid of this. And you know what? I think I'll start with the bag number three. Because I'm very excited to see Jaquim. Because this is a new skin color for 2022. If you don't count the Encanto sets from December of 2021. And for the purposes of this video, we won't. <laughs> oh, and this hairpiece. I mean, it's just marvelous. And the mini doll itself, I like it. I think the mistake Lego made with the previous jungle themed Lego Friends set is that they were too colorful. This one has mostly earthly tones on it with a touch of coral and white. And I think this works way 
way better as an outfit than what we had previously. I am really happy with this. And it just happens to be that we still have place here. And look, matching. I don't know what that would mean. I do like this sand blue color for clothes. And wool in general. I think it's a very nice color. Okay, who else do we have here? Here we have the lady that's not Mia. I am really not sure how to pronounce this, but I'm gonna call her Dr. McKenna. And just by the way, thanks Lego for doing this because I am lost when it comes to remembering names. Okay, so now that I have the head, as well as all of the other parts of Dr. McKenna, I can put her together. And this, I believe, is what I lovingly call Andrea's skin tone. And this hair piece is gorgeous. That's all I can say. It is gorgeous and amazing and has so much texture. And for once, this gap here, that's here because this hair piece needs to fit a minifigure as well. And the figs are a bit wider than the mini dolls. For once, I don't mind it at all because this is a ponytail and it does not have to touch your back. Now the outfit is okay, but I wish this blue was sand blue. This way it's too happy, colorful for the vibe that I think it was going for. So I would exchange this slightly, just, just like a tiny, tiny infinitesimal amount. And then I would absolutely love it. You can take place here among my other newfound mini dolls. But I'm not done with the set. There's still Mia and the zebra somewhere in here. Is zebra a mini doll? No, it's not. But this is my video, so I don't care. Wait, wait. These are sand green leaves. What? <laughs> in case you didn't get it, I absolutely love mini dolls. Lego animals, even though not always do I like the Lego Friends animals more than the Lego City ones, and sometimes I like neither, but that's beside the point. I like to take a look at all of them, and this is quite a nice zebra. Look at those eyes. Mm. Anything baby-like is gonna be super cute, but I have to say that I kind of prefer the giraffe in this set. But that was all side quest. What I wanted to say that I love the mini dolls, I love the animals, and I absolutely adore plants. And this is a new one, so could it be that plants will be the thing that brings me back to Lego? Who knows? So let's build up another Mia. This is interesting. I just got sets that I really, really loved and that were on sale. And that happened to be two Mia sets. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Let's look at this outfit. Yes, this I like. We've got mostly earthly tones with some splashes of color, but they're all in the same color family even as her hair. So this is looking nice. And I really like her here. I think this Mia figure is better than this one. I think this one is just too much. Yeah. Yeah. But I do want to see what they would look like if I swapped their pants. Yes, this is the type of thing that I regularly do. Hmm. No, I think this one maybe even looks worse now. Because now you can see what you are missing out on. You are missing out on the slightly muted colors. Hmm. Maybe if the shoes were blue or even magenta, then this would work like this. Mm, no, I don't like it. But this one works surprisingly well. I don't think I would pair it up like this, possibly ever. So yeah, take that as you may. And I think, because I only have one spot here left, I'll just use this Mia because I like her more and I'll put this one by side. So these are the Lego Friends mini dolls that I now have. 
I really like them. And Daniel is fitting in quite nicely with this crowd. I like that as an added bonus. <sighs> it's just that I want to paint this shirt sand blue now <laughs> so badly. <laughs> no. 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 I mustn't start any more new projects. Finish some of them first, Claire. Finish. Let's be clear now. I have basically convinced myself that I will need to do at least some more videos about mini dolls. However, I have already bought this Ariel's palace and there are mermaids and the first merman in here. And I'm not gonna stop this video now just because I already made up my mind. And no, I'm gonna take a look at the mermaids and those translucent fins. I need to see them. It is imperative to my survival. So much stuff that I don't need. Okay. I see a minute all here. One is in here. And one is in here. The rest gets a back in the box. I just wanted to take a look at who I'm assembling here. But look at this. This is Ariel. I know this is you. Well, and I also know your father, King Triton. But you have like 14 sisters. I'm just kidding. I know that there are seven. But I keep forgetting which one is which. So, Lego. I would appreciate it if you would put somewhere on the box who I'm assembling. Like, she has a name. So for the purposes of this video, she's going to be named the Nameless Sister. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me, give me. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is nice. Not only is it translucent, it's also opalescent. Uh, I did not expect that even though it makes complete sense so I don't know why I wasn't expecting it but it looks so good for some reason I wasn't sure on the picture what color her outfit would be and now I can tell you it's red like Mia's hair and it actually looks good I'm usually the proponent of exchange red for either dark red or magenta or basically any other color but here i'll have to admit that this does look nice this is one of those rare cases where the red actually does look good i i <laughs> i really like it is ariel gonna blow me away in the same way hmm? let's see she should be in the bag number one. Oh, wait a second and these these are prints i was sure there were stickers but they're prints now i'm even more glad that i bought this whole set and not only the mini dolls is ariel going to hogwarts all of the ariels we have gotten so far have had a green tail and then light green fins and then maybe some printing over here this one does it differently this is a teal tail with an opalescent blue fin i might be repeating myself at this point but these opalescent fins are such a game changer when it comes to mermaids it looks so much better i'm <sighs> lego should have done this from the start and the teal for ariel's tail like i think this looks way better on her it fits with her violet shells and the red hair so much better better is the word of the day here and oh, lego please make a collectible mini doll series and then just have them all be mermaids there with different color combos of the tail and the fin i don't even care about the torso I mean, I care about the torso. Let's be real. I care about the torso and I care about the face and I care about the hair. But even if you sold me just the tails, I would buy them. I would buy them all. But I still have 
one other thing to unpack the king himself so let's go this is king triton's head now i already knew this was gonna be printless that news somehow did get to me and this is his tail and it's opalescent as well yes let's assemble him Ta -da! i'm just gonna take off the head for a second to take a closer look at the torso and now don't get me wrong i do like it it is his torso but i would say that these lines are too pronounced i would tone them down a bit and now i'm trying to remember how i did the torso when i painted it because i have made king triton before and now i'm thinking hmm, should i do a comparison video would that be something you would be interested in because that would be something i could do quickly but yeah apart from me not liking these two pronounced muscles and then the creepy breasts without nipples i absolutely adore the tail the tail is like my favorite part of this set well all the three tails the three tails of king triton no well all the tails from this set are my favorites and yes i don't think the camera does it justice of how just nice it looks in real life so do i have a plate for them of course i do let's say he goes here i'm gonna put ariel over here and ariel's unnamed sister is coming over here place king triton a tiny bit more to the right their purpose is achieved i will have to make at least a couple more videos because this is this is majestic i also really like the new skin color and as far as i've gathered there is also another darker skin tone and another lighter one and i think i have both of those in the bricklink order i've already shown you the box off but seeing as this video is already way too long and i'm already convinced to continue making videos i don't think it's necessary for me to open this box on screen and then maybe make a skin tone comparison video because even just thinking about it i feel compelled to create so yeah until the next time you click on one of my videos bye bye now this is all fine and good that i've now decided and i'm gonna make more videos but i also need to edit this so so if i change my mind during the editing process well i must hope i won't